As politicians scramble to find Nathan Fletcher's replacement, questions swirl about his campaign website and the money that was donated to it. To suspend a campaign is a process uh, through the Registrar of Voters, you can go, you can fill out forms that you're terminating a campaign, um, and there are papers that have to be filed as part of that. Lori Saldana ran against Nathan Fletcher in 2018 for the county supervisor seat Fletcher ultimately won. Saldana says suspending a campaign and its website can take some time. You're not under, under any timelines. Um, some people return the money to their contributors, others roll it into a separate account. He's probably going to need to reach out to his contributors as quickly as possible and take this offline and let people know the, the money's going to be sitting there until he satisfies any, uh, any bills and any vendors that have done work on his behalf. According to the Secretary of State's website, Nathan Fletcher has received hundreds of thousands of dollars in his bid for state senate. Do you think any of those contributors will feel slighted in some shape, form, or fashion after contributing? A very small percent of people give money to political campaigns. And most of those are people of, of uh, they're fairly wealthy, well-to-do. And I think they're probably not going to miss, you know, a few hundred or even a thousand dollars, frankly, and may not expect to get it back because they understand there's always a cost of, of campaigning. Endorsements listed on the website like that of Raquel Vasquez, the mayor of Lemon Grove. Those are now statements to CBS 8 reading in part, quote, I am aware of the alarming allegations. The future legal proceeding will help uncover the truth. Saldana says what's most important right now are Fletcher's constituents in the communities that he serves. The most important thing for them is that they have representation just as quickly as possible. Kirsten Holmes, CBS 8.